Hey guys, Mikey here with Tactical California. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna discuss how to paint your rifle. Hey guys, quick reminder, if you like our videos, if you like what we're doing here for you, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're a new viewer and you just want to kind of learn more about California gun laws, see some cool gun reviews and stuff, go ahead and click subscribe. That's exactly what we do here. Also, don't forget that we have an exclusive discount code. It's Optics Planet, which is an awesome little website. You can get optics, uh, all types of AR-15 parts and the like. Uh, you can use our discount code TCA5 for 5% off your entire order on that website. So definitely use that and save some money. Now, full disclosure, this KISS rifle, this really keep it simple rifle, I wanted to paint it, I wanted to see if I could do it, and I went out on YouTube and there's a ton of great videos out there, so I really wasn't gonna put my own how to paint your rifle video together until I had this rifle in the background of one of my other videos, and I also posted some videos of me painting this on Instagram. People definitely seem to want me to do a video on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. For starters, you're gonna need to evaluate what colors you're gonna wanna use. Me personally, in the area I live in Southern California, I could pretty much get away with any of the neutral colors, brown, tan, or green, because I have a lot of that around me. But in my direct area, uh, it seems like the vast majority of where I do my shooting, also out in the desert, stuff like that, just where I honestly think it would look cool. I'm not trying to really camouflage my rifle, I don't have a purpose to, but just where I think it would look cool, is uh, tan and brown seem to uh, work best for me. So I used this Rust-Oleum camouflage paint. I used the tan and the brown. And I did use a little bit of their green, their olive drab green. I'll get to that at the end of the video. So camouflaging used to work from several different distances. It doesn't really work very well if it's just an up close tight pattern. If you're using blue tiger stripe or something like that because you thought it was cool in Call of Duty, go ahead and stop watching now. But camouflage is all about blending in, making sure somebody doesn't see the rifle. So I figured if I'm gonna paint it just to look cool, it might as well be done right. So. I'm stealing this information from a guy called Grantham. I'm sure if you guys subscribe to me, you may have heard of Grantham. If not, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down in the description box below where you can subscribe to him. Awesome dude, awesome content. Uh, I really, really enjoy his channel. But he talked about these camouflage patterns being macro and micro. What he meant by that simply was, you need to have a camouflage pattern that is macro, which is bigger. So uh, what we started doing here was alternating colors about the size of our hand. So we went brown, tan, brown, tan in about that size across the rifle. Now I did some diagonal striping just because I think it looks aggressive, but I don't really think which direction you do that really matters. In fact, if you alternate the directions, it might even camouflage a little bit better, but uh, I just kind of like the way it looked, just kind of streamlined having the same diagonal stripes all the way down the rifle. Now once you accomplish this macro style camouflage, which camouflages the rifle from a distance, you need to make sure that you have your micro underway, which means it's going to break up the pattern and not be such solid colors that if somebody was closer up, they would say, hey, why is there a big block of tan right there, a big block of brown right there? It doesn't really look natural in, in nature. So you need to make sure you get that uh, squared away as well. So all I did for that was I went to my local grocery store and I purchased a laundry sack. It's like a, basically what you would stick dirty laundry in and it worked perfectly. I cut that out. It's like a net pattern. It's a fine net pattern, but not too fine that it would kind of lose the ability to help camouflage the rifle. Simply cut out a section of that, laid it over the areas. And so where I put tan on the base, I would then lay the net down and spray brown over the top of the tan. Now I highly recommend you guys to test out how detailed you want that pattern to be by how close you put the net to the rifle, how nicely you made it against the surface will really dictate how pronounced that net pattern looks. So the farther away the net is itself from the rifle, the more diluted and less net pattern you actually see, but it's still breaking up the color. The closer you put it to the rifle, in fact, as you can see, I've put it pretty much dead on the rifle at some points. I spray that, you get a really strong net pattern. It looks very distinct. Now once I was done with the macro and the micro camouflage painting, I, I noticed that the rifle just looked a little too brown, and I knew that if I was in a green environment, it might stand out a little bit. So all I did was take the OD green, I probably pulled it about two feet off the rifle, maybe three feet, and I gave it a light misting of OD across the entire rifle. This helped kind of break up any of the pronounced net pattern because it kind of filled in some of those net looks, as well as just gave it a little bit of a tint of green, and I believe it helped it blend a little bit better with a green environment should I ever find myself in one. All in all, if you're not an operator, which I definitely am not, this is just for looks, it's purely cosmetic. 
I'm never gonna have to hide my rifle. I just wanted to paint it because I thought it would look cool. So uh, full disclosure there, this is all for looks. It's purely aesthetics. So what I did after I did all that camouflaging was I kind of noticed some patterns I didn't really like. I wanted to break up where the brown and the tan met. So I'd go over it again, maybe just missed it a little bit with tan here, missed it a little bit with brown here. And again, once again, I was all done with that touch up stuff. I missed it slightly again with OD. So that's pretty much how I painted my rifle. I hope you guys enjoy this. Obviously it's gonna wear, as you can see uh, pretty much in some of these shots right here. The paint's already wearing. I'm expecting it to wear. I kind of like the character that your rifle gets. Uh, each person's gun is going to wear in different places and it's just really cool to kind of see how your gun's going to wear, how you use it, where you grab it, etc. If you like this video, please click like down below. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash tacticalifornia and Instagram at tacticalifornia underscore. Also check us out on patreon.com if you feel like you want to financially help out the channel. YouTube has demonetized some of our content and it will help us out a ton. That's patreon.com slash tacticalifornia. I'm Micah with Tactic California. Thanks for watching.